Hey everybody, this is Jesse with Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today we're going to show you a workaround for playing Flash on your Nexus 5 or Android device running 4.4 KitKat. So if you're browsing the web on your Nexus 5 or your 4.4 device and you want to go to a site and say stream video on Amazon Instant, you're going to notice that this no longer works. And this isn't anything new for Android users because in the past you could just download a Flash plugin and then use it in a non-stock browser like Firefox and we've shown you how to do that for the Nexus 7 and other devices and tutorials. Um, but if you've upgraded to 4.4 or you're using a Nexus 5, you're going to notice that this no longer works. For more details on why this no longer works, you can check out um, the full tutorial. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you a workaround. It's not perfect, but it's what we've got. And until the Android community figures out something better, I, I think this is the best solution for the time being. So we're going to use something called the Puffin Web Browser. And uh, Puffin Web Browser enables Flash by streaming it from their servers through the cloud. Um, you can find it in the Play Store, which means you don't have to download any kind of plugins, which makes it a lot easier. So we're just going to go to the Play Store here, and you're going to download it. You can see I've already got it going. Once you download it, open it up, and you can go to a website. You can go to Amazon.com. You can sign into your account if you want to play a Flash video. On this browser, Flash is enabled by default, so you won't have to do anything in settings. It'll just work for you automatically. Um, one thing you should do, though, if you're going to watch a video, you should make sure that you watch it in standard definition. So here you can see an option right here, also available in standard definition. You want to click that instead of HD because that will make feedback a little smoother. You're going to notice if you're watching a movie that it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be a little jittery. It's going to be a little laggy. That's because we're streaming it from their servers instead of straight to your device. Um, but it is the best thing we can do in the meantime, so we're just going to we're gonna check it out. You watch video. Um, if Flash is not enabled automatically on demand like I have it, you just hit here, tap to load, and the video should work. It might take a while to load some settings. Then you can see it's connecting. And then, bam, there's a video. So, uh, a couple of things that you can do, this browser does have a couple of neat tricks. You can go over here to settings, you can see the three dots for settings, and you can go to theater mode, if you scroll down here. If you tap theater mode, it's going to darken everything else except the video, which makes watching it a little bit easier. Uh, if you want to turn it off, you can just hit back. Another thing you can do is you can pop out the video to take up the full screen. So if you tap at the bottom of the screen, you should get some other options down here. You can adjust the volume here. Um, you can get captions if you want, but you can click pop out here. And that's going to open up a new tab and load the video separately. And once it does, you're going to get a full screen mode. So you can see that I actually accidentally turned captions on, but again, you can turn that off. Um, so yeah, you can tell that the video it definitely works. It's definitely functional. Um, this is actually pretty good feedback right now. So this will depend on your browsing, your um, your data speeds. I, I recommend using it over Wi-Fi because you'll get the best speeds that way. And one final note on the Puffin browser is that there are two different versions of the app. There's the free version and the paid version. If you use the free version, you're only going to be able to use Flash functionality during daytime hours. Daytime hours, which is a little bit weird. But if you want to be able to use it anytime, you can download the paid version. Just type in Puffin Browser. And you can see there's the paid version right here. So if you download the paid version, it costs $2.99. But if you use it, you can use Flash whenever you want to. You don't have to worry about it. Um, I actually, actually recommend doing this if you want to try out the video quality but you're doing it at nighttime. This way you can actually try it out. And if you don't like it, you can always refund it to the Play Store if you make sure you put it back in the Play Store within 15 minutes of using it. So Google gives you 15 minutes in the Play Store to try out an app to refund it for free. Um, another thing is that if you're using the browser, the free version, um, after a while it'll opt for you to use the paid version within the app. If you upgrade within the app itself, you'll pay $1.99, but you have to pay $1.99 every year. But if you just buy the free ver the paid version in the Play Store, as you can see here, you just pay $2.99 and that's it forever. You never have to worry about it again. The Puffin web browser isn't a perfect solution for having native Flash on your phone, 
but uh, it is what we have right now, and it's important to notice that the Android community is working on it. KitKat is a pretty new OS update at the moment, and as time goes by, people are going to figure out better ways to use Flash on your device. And when they figure it out and we figure it out, you'll be the first to know. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. For the full tutorial, you can check out Nexus 5 Softmodder, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.